Grinder here back at again with another video and this time it's the top eight of the LCS and we have Dirt Shalakati Bonnie. No idea how to say foreign names by the way. And then Paulo P R R J Gon Calvez. Uh, first of all, make sure to go subscribe to him on YouTube at P R R J Yu Gi Oh. Link down below in the description. And let's just hop right in. So this is new format for anyone that doesn't know. Oh, didn't really see who won that there. Kind of skipped over that. But we are going to see Alter Guys choose, and he's going to go first. Opening hand is Multi Faker, Seek, Strike, Silk, Nadir Servant. He's also playing the Dogmaticas, which just nobody is, which is cool. But not a crazy hand. Not like bad, definitely not bad, but not like absolutely crazy. And then he has Lord, Barrage, Ram Ram, Nadir Servant, Bunny Blast. This card is in everyone's zoo list. Anyone that's playing zoo is always playing one of this now to help beat Qinglong versus Virtual World. His hand's good though. If he draws like a Eldritch Speller Trap, this hand's nice. Normal Summon Seek, Then go for Link Karibo. Seek's going to let him add Marionetta, which tells his opponent he already has Faker in hand. Activate Nadir's Servant. Send Wind Pegasus to add Ecclesia, so he's not playing Knight in his deck. Which is a lot, like, it's really common right now, actually. Most back row decks that are playing the Dogmatica build just aren't playing Knight. He's going to summon out Ecclesia, use that effect, and that's going to add Punishment. And then set two trap cards, pass turn, draws Wakiro, there's the Eldest Speller Trap. And then Lord Effect, that hits Strike. That's solid. Normal summon out Ram Ram. It's going to Punishment here, or the activation of this would be able to get negated by Ram Ram, and Faker just wouldn't come out this turn. He's going to send Ash. And then on res, drop Faker. Then Faker, bring out Seek. Activate Barrage. And his opponent right here, he's mad. He's like, wow, he actually drew Barrage. Because this deck doesn't play like Reborn, Living Fossil. The only Zoo Extender is Barrage. So he did get very lucky there. And that could bring out like a Thoroughblade. Get a draw. Maybe he doesn't want to get the Zoo out of hand. Yeah, so he's going to go for the draw. Draws Ash. That's a nice draw. Solid one for one against other rogue decks. Or like this rogue deck. Wow, this deck isn't like rogue at all. Elda Zoo. Dogmatica. It's actually pretty popular right now. I know that Eldish was the deck that entered the LCS the most. But that's just because people don't know how to dry Tron combo. Which is crazy. I feel like... Once the ban list got revealed, everybody would just grind Drytron as much as possible. Just because, like, Drytron or Virtual World, obviously one of those were the best decks because combo is always the best deck. And then once you, like, test Virtual World and Drytron a lot, then you can choose which one you like more. And personally, I like how Virtual World plays, but Drytron I think is just better. But I think that Virtual World is going to win this tournament because not, not enough people know how to dry Tron combo yet. He's going to use Link Karibo and then attack directly. You have to make sure to redeclare after Link Karibo or you never battled. You were battling. A lot of people don't know how that works. Go on the Chalcanine and then Zeus. Zeus effect, wipe the board, Seek chain ash. He does know that there's a marionette in hand, though. Activate now to your servant. Send Omega. And that's going to add Ecclesia. He's going to Omega the... I want to say Ash out of Graves, so that way he doesn't get Ecclesia to hand. And then summon out his Ecclesia. He's going to get that effect. Add Punishment, and then Omega on Ash, yup. Set Punishment, and then End Phase, Wakero turns into Scarlet, and then draws Ash Blossom. That's not bad for the Scarlet. It's not 
crazy though. Just gonna normal summon and then use the effect. That is going to set manifestation directly from deck. Then on resolution, nothing, then marionetter effect. It's gonna target Melusik, chain punishment. So now Melusik doesn't come out, Elder, pop manifestation. That would also cut him off from having a trap for Faker. It's probably gonna win Pegasus effect here. Or else there's just too much and he just dies next turn. It's gonna Scarlet, Chain Ash. Or it wouldn't be next turn, but it would be. Or no, it would be the next turn. Yeah, he would die next turn. Because 3k, 15, and 35. Draws Nib, which does nothing versus this deck. Scarlet, set Conquistador. Nib came up every once in a while versus Geist when they had Link Cross, because people would summon two tokens, but now, like Link Cross, you know, ban. It's not going to come up. It's going to poke for 5k. And then end phase, Conquistador. It's going to set Scarlet from deck. Pass turn, draw Nadir's Servant. So, let's see. He's going up against zero interruptions. That's a good start. He can summon Silk. Link that away. Grab back Manifestation. Nadir's Servant. Assuming he's playing two punishment, he could set up two interruptions. He's gonna normal and then go into the maiden, add back manifestation. This card has no effect for this deck, but it's just very easy to go into. Yep, he's just reading it. Has no effect, just checking. Activate now to your servants and elder. And that's going to add Ecclesia, and then he's going to get Elder Effect. And that's going to be on Ecclesia. And then Ecclesia, Effect to Summon itself out, and then Effect to Search. That's going to give him Punishment, so he is playing 2 Punishment. And then Set 2, End Phase, Scarlet. That's going to bring out Ash. So he's only playing 1 Lord in his deck. Ooh, I wonder how that went in the tournament. Uh, Paulo does get a round one and round two bye in the tournament, so because he has the belt. That could have, like, that's just insane. Like, having the belt, you guys don't even understand. It changes how you build your decks for a tournament. You don't have to play round one and two, which is just the worst rounds because you could play against some rogue guy and he just beats you because your deck's made for meta. So, since he didn't have to play round 1 and 2, he didn't have to play against as much Eldritch Mirror matches as he would have. Which is huge for his deck building. Because then he doesn't have to play against Wakero and Ice Dragon's Prison as much. He's going to link off for Nightmare Phoenix, and then use the effect. That's going to pop Punishment, he's going to chain it, he's still going to get the draw off Nightmare. He sends Elder, and then draws Bell. Also, this is a card. This should have been, in any Zoo player, like Zoo, Eldlish, this should have just been main deck three of in the deck. Uh, this card was just crazy. Like, looking back at it, it should have been. Because everyone was on Eldlish, Ice Dragon's Prison was very popular this weekend. If people knew that prior, then obviously everyone would have just played 3 Bell. Just gonna normal summon Whip. Activate Manifestation, Chain Bell, and that's just, that's just crazy. Like, dude's crazy. Draws Bell off of his Nightmare Draw. The one card, well, right? That's the only card that stops it. I mean, in, like, in his main deck game one, that probably is. Unless if he's playing, like, Crow, that would also help. But still, like, a huge, huge, huge draw. Going to Chaka 9, then Tiger Mortar. He actually just has no more engine. Like, that bell was game. That won him this game one. Equip Thoroughblade. Then go into Dryden. Scarlet, set Conquistador. And then Lord bring itself out. Then battle, he admits defeat. Main deck Cosmic, too. We saw that, by the way. Interesting. 
Moving on to game two, we're going to see Geist go first, probably. He's going to get to choose, chooses to go first. Oh, I forgot to say it at the beginning of the match, but 40 versus 40, you got to love to see it. Forgot to say it because I was looking at who was going first, and my mic is like perfectly covering the deck number. Um, but the open hand is strike, extravagance, spoofing, faker, manifestation. Uh, I mean, that's nice. You definitely gotta love to see it. Opening faker plus a trap is cool. Extravagance is a free draw too. Then he has conquistador, barrage again, making it look like it's at three. Whiptail, scarlet, cosmic. Eldish Engine, Zoo Normal, Extender, Cosmic. They both open good. This is going to be a good game, too. So we're going to see Extravagance. Draw Faker Strike. All right. He already has Faker Strike, but another one doesn't hurt. See what he banished. Two Hextia. All right, not bad. It's not three. You know, if it's three, that's just so unfortunate. And then he's gonna set four cards past turn, draw cursed. What a like what a hand. Cause that's Lord. There's just so much. Activate cursed. Chain spoofing. And then reveal faker, faker effects. And that's gonna summon out silk from deck. And then pay 800, chain silk to bounce. Uh, playing around Geo by putting it all the way to the right. And so is he. Nah, like Geo just isn't played in like these decks, but it's just good to like play around it at all times. There's no reason to play into it sometimes. Go in the Tiger Mortar, chain strike. And then activate Barrage. He goes, wow, JK. I wouldn't have said just kidding. I would, I would have stated my wow. So that's a barrage two games in a row. You you deserve to get to say wow. And then we're going to see barrage bring out Ram Ram. So far we've seen Whiptail, Barrage, Ram Ram. So it's probably the same thing he was running last time, but cut a Ram Ram for a Bunny Blast. Just to help the Virtual World matchup. Could be different, but just assuming. Goes in the Borbo. Battle phase. Dink at the start. He's going to activate Spoofing. Chain Cosmic Cyclone. Then Poke Direct for 400. Main phase two. It's gonna go into Chakanine. He's going to strike the summon of Chakanine. That's interesting. Because he could have just kept going into Zeus and then you strike and you just hit him for more. And if he uses the effect there, you could just strike there. It doesn't really matter if you negate the summon of Chakanine or not. So I think that was like a, a misplay. Could have made his opponent use more. Uh, he could still be on like not a big Eldritch extra deck. And hitting him with a decent sized strike could have been huge. Draw Cosmic. That's nice. Normal summon out Faker. Links those two off in the Hextia. Just didn't even go into Eldritch plays last turn, like with Cursed. To just like add Wakero. I wouldn't think it'd be bad. It's gonna Manifestation, Back Silk, Chain Conquistador, Chain Scarlet, Chain Cosmic. I was gonna like, so he was popping Hextia prior to Silk coming out. And then Silk comes out, Hextia Surge. Like, I just, I don't know. I guess he just doesn't want Scarlet to be negated. But then he could have just done that before. So he really was popping Hextia there. That's interesting. 
It's gonna bring out Silk. Cause if you pop this, they still just summon. Cause it says, "End if you do." Which a lot of people don't know about that. That's why if you activate this and you're like, "Oh, chain cosmic banish," you're like, "Cool." Still summon. That's why you can activate this and then chain spoof and you still summon. But he's just thinking here. He's going to turn those two into Nightmare Phoenix. Doesn't go into another Hextia because Banish 2. And his opponent knows that too now, or he would have made Hextia. And then Hextia Silk, add back Manifestation. And then Hextia is going to let him add Faker. Then set manifestation, pass play, draws punishment. So he has Conquistador, Wakero, Punishment available to him right now. He's thinking he's going to pay 8, feel great. Wait, there was a reason that this wasn't used last turn, and it's because it was used last turn, and it was stopped. I don't, I don't know why I said that at the end of the turn. Like, obviously, this was bounced with Silk. Add Conquistador. Switch to Attack. It's been a long day of Yu-Gi-Oh. I'm not going to lie. Pretty much this entire day was just based on it. It's going to set Punishment. Poke over the Nightmare Phoenix. It's going to take the damage. Scarlet is going to set Wakero. That's good versus Manifestation, but this can just be used prior. Bring out Silk and then Faker Effect. Wonder if he's only playing one Silk. And then Faker brings out Marionette from deck. There's honestly a really good chance he only plays one. Plays more normal summons with the Dogmaticas. Silk, it makes sense for him to cut this down to one. Probably only plays one. He's going to Silk Effect, Bounce Lord, then draw Judgment. Oh, that's so good versus his build, too. Because he's only playing one Lord and Scarlet can't summon from hand. Draw Judgment, Normal Mario, and use that effect. Set Protocol. And then Marionette Effect. You don't do that. I wonder... How long it took him to think of that. He declared the effect. Oh, just set. Uh, okay, so the next effect. That's why. Alright, so. Whenever you activate Mary and Utter effect, you want to know what you're targeting to send and bring out. Obviously, you want to know what you're doing before you do it. But there, if he just didn't say that and took as long as he actually did to activate the effect. It would have seemed like he was slow playing. So here he doesn't want to seem like he's slow playing, which is fair. Silk, add back manifestation. Then battle phase, poke for 16. But that doesn't, like, excuse slow playing if it does happen. Like, they can't be, like, effect, thinking on what to target, and then you call judge. They can't be like, oh, I was just thinking what I was going to target. Pretty much didn't even activate the effect yet. Gets poked for 16, then 12, and then attack for game. It's gonna attack, it's gonna activate Walkero. Brings itself out, Hextia beat over that. And then set manifestation, judgment, pass play, draw tanky. It's gonna pay eight, feel great. Add Conquistador. I can't believe I missed like that. Like it happened and I just forgot about it. Crazy. Turn one was just like, I don't know. This whole game has just been wild. It's so cool to see Geist like in the top cut of a tournament versus Zoo Eldritch. Like both cool decks. It's going to use Lord Effect on Protocol. Chain it, getting rid of Faker. Then activate Tanky. He's thinking in response to that. He's going to Hextia. Negate that. Activate Punishment on Hextia. He's going to chain Judgment to negate. 
then he admits defeat. Alright, so going on to the next game. One thing about Geist is Geist is insane versus Eldlish. Like, Eldlish actually just can't out, like, Hextia. It's kind of crazy. Uh, like, this is a really good matchup versus the Eldlish part. And then the opening hand, game three, is Extravagance, Mystic Mine, Meluseek, Silk, Nadir Servant. Mystic Mine. Against Eldlish? That's... Ooh. Wonder. Uh... They are 50 minute rounds, I'm pretty sure, for top cut. Or like just like 50 minute rounds. So it did start like right away. So time could be coming up very soon. And in that case, Mystic Mine is a very good card in time. You poke for 500, activate, your opponent can't do damage for a turn. Insane. Then he has Conquistador, Bell, Wakero, Tanky, Bunny Blast. Activate Tanky. His hand isn't crazy. At Thoroughblade, normal summon effect. It's gonna get rid of Bunny Blast, draw Skullmeister. That's good versus Malusik. And like the Dogmatica and Silk. Manifestation add back. Going to Chalkanine. Chalkanine effect. Bring back the crazy Bunny Blast, which has an effect if it dies, kind of like Ram Ram. But instead of summoning, it lets you add back. Make Trident, set two, and then pass. Draws Punishment, activate Extravagance. Does he banish three Hextia? Draws Faker, Marionette. Nice draw of Faker. Let's see. One? Ah, okay. Only one hex to you. I guess that's fair. Normal summon now you seek. Battle phase, attack direct. I guess it would actually be worse for him to banish like three elders than three now you seek in this game. Just because of how quick this game is going to go. And then now you seek effect. Chain Skullmeister. Feels really good about that, but he actually just has like every guy's card anyways. And he was searching Konkiri. If he even plays it. But that card in time is also nice. Now to your servant. It's going to chain bell to that. Yeah. That's that's solid. Because a lot of people don't even know that you can bell this. This adds back from grave. You don't have to have one in grave to be able to bell this. Because it doesn't check until the like resolution. Like when it's resolving it checks. Kind of like virtual world city. Activate mystic mine. Set Punishment, Pass Play, Wakero is going to bring itself out, Draws Bell. Still not time. Goes in the Link Spider. Oh, that, okay, so it's like 20 seconds away from time or something like that. Switch to Defense. Oh, he couldn't do it quick enough. That's rough. Set Scarlet. It's actually kind of crazy. So they started their game a little bit after time started. Because if it would have been like exactly 50 minutes, he would have had enough time to do it. He would have just banished that Wakero ridiculously quick and set Scarlet. And he would have done it in time. Draws now to your servant, by the way. What a draw. It's going to activate it. Send Elder, add Ecclesia, and then Elder, Pop, Chain, and then Chain Scarlet. He's thinking. So, you have to Punishment on Dryden here. Dryden has its effect, which beats Punishment because it can just pop whatever it targets so that way he doesn't get the send. The chance that he does that here, or he just doesn't activate punishment at all. Does chain it. So we're going to see Dryden sent. Bring out Lord, then Conquistador, get his pop. Pop Mystic Mine, obviously, or he's going to lose. And then the Elder 
pops that, the first one, and now he's going to get another Elder effect, and he can trigger Faker. So he's going to do Faker 2, Elder 1. Says okay. Wait, said you already target Dryden. Oh, yeah, he's just messed up. Said my bad, got confused. Yeah, ah, uh, that's fair. There was a lot going on right there. Multiple different chain links. So now he gets to bring out his faker and use that effect. He's gonna summon out Meluseek. Normal summon Marionetter effect. That's gonna set protocol from deck. The effect of summon back is probably going to get hit with Bell since there's not many times to do it other than right there. Marionetta effect on Mel you seek. It's going to chain Bell so then the Mel you seek stays on board. Defense. Ooh, defense. Yeah, I was about to say. If that comes back and attack, that's huge. Oh, yeah, time is also. Turn zero, one, two, three. For those of you who don't know, for this tournament, he's gonna beat over that and then beat over your bunny. Bunny effect add. You just gotta, you gotta love bunny blast. You gotta add thoroughblade. I've been playing this in zoo. This card's crazy. And then passes, draws ghost bell. It's not... Wait, so how is he going to go about this? Does have Elder Stuff engraved, so that produces an interruption next turn. Knows Protocol set. So just Borbo attack directly. Get the game to where you're ahead in life. Yeah, he's thinking here. Definitely don't want to mess up at the very end and then get, you know, mess up, kicked out of the tournament. Go on the board book, because if you lose top eight, you're out. Attack directly, 17. Then go for Tiger Mortar, Chalk and Nine, then Zeus. Solid. He's going to use the effects, Chain Protocol. Send Faker to negate, chain Zeus, goes through. Ah, uh, this doesn't go off board. It's not like Dragoon destroyed it. It's like this has to stay face up. So Zeus stays on board. Mel you seek search. Ah, okay, good. They they brought it back. That's very good. Obviously a huge three thousand body when your opponent only has one battle phase left. It's crazy. That is in the wrong zone, though, right? It was in the middle. Could be wrong. I don't think it's going to come up. Scarlet, set Conquistador. Then end phase, Conquistador, set Scarlet. Yep, moved it. Hey, moved it right back. So they, they caught everything. Draws Extravagance. So he's locked out of his extra deck this whole turn anyways, because Punishment. Because uh, it's until the end of your next turn. A lot of people don't know that. So he's just going to use that rip six. Sex trick just doesn't matter here. Wonder what's in it though. Let's check. Because there's 12 cards here. Two engrave. So if you guys want to know the Alter Guys player's extra deck. It's right here pretty much. Except for one card. What does he draw? But that, that, first of all, that's a godly top deck, by the way. If you have one last turn, this is what you want to draw. This, this is not what you want to draw. A trap card, which obviously you can't use for the rest of the match. A marionetter, which you already have. That's, so he drew nothing. Seems crazy, see. Seems crazy, but it's just not. At least we got to see more extra deck before he loses. Ecclesia to summon itself. And then affect the search again. Not playing knight. The probably only playing punishment, which again trap card not coming up. Affect the set setting a trap card. Marionetter effect. Uh, whoa. 
Like, Conquistador Scarlet is probably where... Like, it'd be very good here. But I have to assume he's going to bell this. That way he still has his pop-up, just in case. That's, like, the safe way to play it. Yeah, for sure. Because, like, if you chain... So, chain link 1, chain link 2, chain link 3, he chains Ash. Then this effect is huge. I mean, he still would lose, but it would make this effect just much more crazy. So, you do bell. Yeah. I agree with him on that one. And he's admitting defeat, showing off the hand. Yeah. Uh, that was very well played by Paulo. Three... Three bell. This dude's crazy. Seeing them all in one game. But like I said, playing Zoo Eldush, playing three bell for this tournament would have just been insane because of all the Ice Dragons prisons, Walk Heroes. He's only playing one Lord, so like Bell really keeps his Walk Hero or Bell really keeps his Lord alive from Walk Hero. Let's see how long the match was hour and five minutes that's a long time but shout out to paulo we're gonna see him move on to top four and i am posting that match also it's gonna be the next upload so make sure you stay tuned for that also again make sure to subscribe to him at prrj Yu -Gi -Oh on youtube link in the description down below shout out to him again don't know how to say your name uh, shout out to him for playing altergeist and making it all the way to top eight Playing Geist and getting the top eight, but my words are just not coming out. Playing Geist and getting the top eight of a tournament is insane right now. Like, it's honestly incredible. Shout out to him. And playing Dogmatica in it, would have never assumed that this deck would have topped this LCS. So shout out to both of them. Uh, like, comment, and subscribe. The DB Grinder, signing off. Peace. Have a nice day slash night.